Hello and welcome back again. So today I want to share with you how the Spark 2 from Positive Grid is actually helping me to improve my practice session, my practice time, uh, and particularly how the Looper feature helps me to improve my solos or, you know, at least work on my solos, hopefully improve them. Um, but how it can also help you to practice your pentatonics, uh, practice your triads, practice your cage, uh, practice anything really um, that usually you might need a partner for or that you could play over the original track with. Uh, the little disadvantage of playing with the original track is that you will always hear the actual artist playing the solo that you're practicing. So it will never just be you, so you won't hear um, exactly what you're playing. You may not hear the faults that you're putting in there. Um, so it's always better to just play the chords yourself and then try to solo over it. And I want to show you today how to do that here with the Spark 2 in the app and with the device itself. Um, so usually what you can do is, first of all, you'll find out what are the chords that are playing during the solo that I want to try and practice right now. Once you figure that out, uh, all you really need to do is take those chords and play them into your spark as a loop, as kind of a backing track, and then you solo over them. Um, so here we'll take a very popular uh, one. I, I want to go through uh, Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up um, our Spark app here. I have it on my iPad. Um, and I'm not even bothering with tone too much right now, so I'm just picking uh, a preset for a rhythm guitar right now in order to put in the chords. And uh, what I'm doing then is I'm opening the looper feature here again. Um, I might want to pick something something poppy uh, as the as the drums. There is a big list of drums that you can pick from. Um, we'll just listen in with this one here. That's maybe a little bit too poppy. Yeah, all right, maybe we can groove with that. Let's see. All right, so this is a little bit fast. Uh, that's okay though, because we can adjust the beats per minute. You can, you can actually look that up um, online if you want to, or you can just figure it out yourself. Usually uh, what I do is I tap it out. So on the device itself, you have a tap button and you can just hum the song or the solo along and then just tap on the button and it will give you the beats per minute of exactly how fast you're tapping. Um, or once you do this, uh, once you've done this a couple of times, you can actually go straight into the looper feature and put in uh, the BPM. Here I'm going to put in... Um... Yeah, discard the fucking loop. So um, here I'm gonna put in the actual BPM. Uh, it should be around 70-ish. Yeah, I'm gonna go for 72, something like that. Um, and then we'll record our loop. We'll get a, a four beat count in, and then we'll just go for it. There we go. Now that we have the loop recorded, uh, I'll actually I'll pull down the drums a tiny little bit. They're a little bit too loud for me right now. It's nice to have them there in the background for the beat, but not too loud. So I got my loop at around 40% right now. Um, yeah, I'll pull that up a little bit to like 70%. There we go. Then. I'm going back to my amp selection and I'm just going to pick uh, a solo style sort of guitar 
because that's what I want to do. I want to solo over it. I'm gonna roll back my volume and tone knob a tiny little bit. And now all you do is you get in the groove and you play your solo over it over and over and over again until you feel confident with it. Alright, so a little warm up, uh, just the pentatonic that goes into this. Now let's do the actual solo. I messed up there. The good thing is you can just do it over and over again until you actually figure it out. You can also break it down a little bit. Like this has a little bend here before it goes into those two notes, but you can actually just play all three notes straight until you get that and then put in the bend. Ooh, I messed that up again. Yeah, so basically, you can practice all of those until it's perfect. Um, I'm actually practicing this solo right now, that's why it's not perfect for me yet either, but I thought it would be a really good way of showing how you can use this feature. Um, and, you know, I could have played that for like a half hour now, probably, until my fingers hurt. <laughs> and that's how you can improve also in your solos, you know, you play it over and over again, you use your ear and you listen in, um, that's also how you get the bends right, you know, because if you have the chords playing in the background, um, every bend that you do, you will actually hear um, very quickly whether or not that bend is in tune or not. Um, and that's probably a better way than just listening for the fret that you want to bend to. Like, you know, if I want to play this bend, I would listen to the fret, like two frets up, right? Like a whole note up. Um, and that's a little annoying, actually, <laughs> if, you, if you have to go about it that way. But if you listen to the chords in the background, it gets much more enjoyable because it's much more musical. So the idea is still the same. Um, we're going to do that with a bit of a, a guitar with a bit of a heavy output. But uh, the workflow remains the same. You first pick uh, some drums that you like, or wait, actually, First of all, you should go for the BPM that you want to go for. Uh, this particular song is probably around 100 should be good for my practicing here right now. And then uh, you pick a drum set that you like. So we can listen in on a couple of these. Try that. We'll start our recording again. Just put the volume up here. There we go. All right. And again, I'm gonna put the loop to around 60. Maybe I'll pull up the drums a little bit here to get a bit of a heavier rhythm sound. And then we can start soloing over it. Maybe again we'll start with the pentatonic just to warm up and then play the actual solo, right? Well, actually, that makes the backing track a little bit loud, so I'm going to pull that back just a tiny little bit so I can hear my solo better. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. All right, I can hear that a lot better. Now all we got to do is practice the solo over and over again. Since this is just gonna keep playing forever, we can do some cool stuff too, like, you know, we can try to play it an octave up, maybe, uh, just to see what that sounds like, and also to, to practice the motion here. possibilities. Um, and that's really how you can use the Spark 2 or any looping feature, really, um, any looping pedal that you might have in order to, to keep practicing, you know, keep improving in your pentatonics, um, in your triads, in your caged system, whatever it is that you're practicing. Because the chords that you're playing in the background, that will just repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat, and you can play over it whatever you need in order to uh, improve on something, right? You could even uh, just play a single bend, um, a single a single string, and bend that for a half step, a whole step, one and a half steps, whatever, over and over and over again. I'm not doing this here because that probably gets annoying really quick, <laughs> but it is a ton more fun um, than just doing it with uh, like a, a pitch tool or something um, that that tells you if you actually do the bend right, because you will learn to listen to the chords in the background and then play the bends with it. So, any looper really is a super, super helpful tool. I got this uh, in my Spark 2 here. I'm doing a little bit of a series where I'm reviewing different features of the Spark 2. Check out my other videos if you haven't just yet, um, and I'll, I'll keep them coming. Let me know what else you want to know about either the Spark um, or, you know, any other aspect of, of the practicing that I do here. Um, by no means I'm a professional, but, you know, as kind of a, a bedroom guitarist, I'm trying to um, uh, impart also a little bit of knowledge of, of what I learned in terms of what makes it easier to practice and to keep at it um, every day, if you will, and thus improve in your playing journey. Have a good one. Goodbye.